Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Mario Kart 8, and now I'll be playing as... Daisy! Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm going to be racing my in my favorite Rainbow Road track in the game, and that is the Super Nintendo one from Super Mario Kart. And I remember this is the first Rainbow Road that I've ever played. As a matter of fact, it's the first Rainbow Road track that is in, is in the Mario Kart franchise. And seeing that they added this on the DLC really made me smile because this really brought back memories to when I first played Super Mario Kart. And at the beginning here, I'm gonna let you listen to music. Aw oh, man, I just love this course. And it looks just like it did on the Super Nintendo, but you can definitely tell where they revamped it for this game. Not only does the music sound a lot cooler, but the course itself is a lot cooler. And I like the rainbow hills in the background. And I especially like the way that the flops look and everything, too. Yeah, you could argue they really didn't change anything on here, but... The fact that it allows you to go down memory lane without it being changed dramatically, I think they did a good job of this track. Of course, you get to see the moon in the background. That's also a very cool touch. But yeah, as much as I love the N64 Rainbow Road, nothing can beat this one. Because like I said before, this was the very first Rainbow Road that I've ever played. And I remember when I first played it, it actually gave me a headache the first couple times because of the colors, but... Yeah, but... I'm, I'm glad that they changed it on here. It's a lot easier on the eyes than what it was in that game, but, uh... I didn't get a new time, but it doesn't matter because I just love this stage. And I... It's de this is definitely one that I play each time I play this game, so... And Daisy's pretty happy about it, so... But thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.